Now, what's up, everybody? Once again, it's Brand Man Sean, and y'all can thank this video to Bizzle West, who slid in my DMs asking about the SoundCloud apocalypse. And if you don't know what I mean by that, it's the fact that SoundCloud is about to die. That's the rumor, anyway. You have artists like Khalid sending his condolences as if SoundCloud's already six feet under and he's standing at his grave, and so many other artists making comments. But what I want to get across in this video is the fact that I do not believe SoundCloud is going to die, and I want to talk about how we should think about this situation. So first, we got to think about why people even believe this. Earlier this year, SoundCloud actually reported that they lost $52 million in 2015. It was kind of alarming for a company that's raised over $190 million and is 10 years old. They tried to frame it and convince people that those bad days were behind them. Until this week. When SoundCloud reported a 40% layoff. That's a lot of people just gone. No job. Now there's a more specific rumor that they only have enough money to get them to Q4. Basically, they're burning more money than they are spending and are about to run out. That's the rumor. And in my mind, there's two options. Number one, SoundCloud doesn't have any money and they're about to die. Number two, SoundCloud doesn't have any money, but killing off 40% of their staff will position them to be forgiven of their sins and saved by an angel. In other words, investors do understand the value of the assets that SoundCloud has, which for the most part is its user base and the data, but they don't want to hop on a sinking ship. So SoundCloud, by cutting their employment, cutting their costs, in return increases their profitability even if that's from like negative 50 million to negative 1 million they're making themselves a healthier company which increases investor confidence it's basically like when an athlete gets hurt and the rest of their career depends on if they can turn around like Adrian Peterson who came back and had a record-breaking season after his ACL injury or if they'll kind of fizzle out and only be a shell of what it used to be kind of like a Derrick Rose situation these investors need to evaluate that I strongly believe it is that second situation. SoundCloud is getting in a healthier position to be bought out or to increase investor confidence because the value of their assets is extremely that valuable. Yes, we have things like Apple Music, Spotify, and Tidal who have increased the competition in that market, but really they still haven't kind of touched completely on that core that SoundCloud has created. There is a little bit of goodwill there. SoundCloud not only has a user base and and uh, some sort of revenue coming in. Also, they're a lot more unique in comparison to the other streaming services because they have this culture that is developed within the system and what they mean right now within the assembly line of how artists are getting discovered and there's just so much extra there which might be hard to argue to investors. They just want to see that bottom line. But like I said, the data alone is very valuable. And I keep saying valuable because I can't put the number on it. I don't know enough of the details. But what I can say is if they aren't required by some investors that allow them to act independently, they might just be acquired by some bigger company that didn't decide to acquire them before but is looking a little bit more bullish on them after they're available for a discount. Once again, I know those other streaming services have created a lot of competition, but they really haven't fully stepped over into SoundCloud's market. Actually, Apple Music, Tidal, Spotify, those are really built distribution networks that are geared a lot more towards curation for the consumer, where SoundCloud, since its birth, has been more for the people who are uploading the sound itself. The DJ, the person who has a podcast, an artist, a producer, whatever. So again, will SoundCloud die? I don't think so. Will it thrive and come out of this stronger than ever? That's left to be seen. That's it. You know what to do. Hit that subscribe button.